I'm John Sturman from the MIT Sloan School of Management where I run our sustainability initiative and I'm here with my colleagues from Climate Interactive. Our climate policy model, C-ROADS, which is freely available for everybody to try themselves at climateinteractive.org, has been used to assess the expected impact of the INDCs. So if all the INDCs are fully implemented, so that's a big assumption, if all the INDCs are fully implemented, but no actions beyond what's been formally pledged are assumed, then we expect warming by 2100 will be 3.5 degrees C, that's 6.3 Fahrenheit. Uh, that's a degree lower than doing nothing, but it's nowhere near the two degree target. And what is the number that they're using most often here at COP21? So you hear the number 2.7, and that number results from an analysis that assumes emissions drop after 2030, that is after the period covered by the INDCs. When we run our model with those same assumptions about emissions dropping, we get the same result. But those emissions reductions after 2030 have not been pledged by any nation here. So it is true, if the INDCs are implemented fully and there's additional ambition that lowers emissions, after 2030, then warming will be lower than three and a half. But no nation has yet pledged to do that. We all hope that that will happen, but it has not yet been adopted, and the policies to encourage that are not in place. And where can people find the modeling that you set up? Go to climateinteractive.org. It's all there, freely available, and all the assumptions are fully documented, so people can try it, try their own assumptions, check it, criticize it, ask us questions. Okay.